Welcome to A Magical Life, Health, Wealth and Weight Loss. I'm your host, Magic Barclay, Lead Practitioner at Holistic Natural Health Australia and number one best-selling author. In this podcast, I aim to give you practical tips on how to accelerate and sustain your health, increase your financial, spiritual and emotional wealth and to look at something that haunts many of us needlessly, weight loss. In some episodes, I'll have guests available to give you even more tips, but in others, the floor is yours. Drop us a line at A Magical Life Podcast on Facebook and let me know what you would like to know more about. Now, sit back and enjoy, because it is time for you to create and truly discover a magical life. Welcome back to A Magical Life. I'm your host, Magic Barclay and today I want to talk to you about innate immunity. What is it? We're hearing so much today about our immune system and many people are scared of things going on in the world and I just wanted to touch on the fact that our immune system has lots of different mechanisms of protecting us. So what is innate immunity? The innate immune system is the one that you're born with. It's your go-to. It's your protector. It's the knights at the turrets of the castle waiting to fire arrows on anyone that comes along that's a threat. Now, the innate immune system reacts to pathogens like viral cells, bacterium, fungal spores, basically anything that it comes across. And it acts within three days. It involves an intricate pattern of white blood cells and it involves your nervous system or your neural impulses and your endocrine system or your hormones. And what it does is it launches an attack to a threat within three days. Now, if it can't do that, it taps into your acquired immune system. So this is your second layer of defence. Now, most of us have our acquired immune system sitting in a TH3 or a T-regulation capacity. Now, T-reg, he's the conductor of the orchestra in your body called your immune system. And what he does is if he sees a threat coming along, he sends you to TH1, which is your infection-fighting immune type. If you get pregnant, He sends you to TH2 so that you can carry your baby rather than your body seeing the baby as a threat. He might send you to TH2 to combat vaccinations. If you get a parasite, you'll go to TH2 to deal with that. Or he could send you to TH17, which is your delayed onset allergies, many skin conditions, TH17 forms normally from a leaky gut response. So your immune system, your TH3 or T regulation guy, he's there and he sees undigested proteins from a leaky gut traveling through the body. And he says, we need to mount an immune response to this. Off to TH17 you go. Now you're meant to jump in and out of all of these. Like I said, this guy's a conductor. He doesn't just have the symphony playing only violins or only trumpets. He involves everyone in the orchestra. But what happens is we get stuck in these immune types and that's when our problems come to light and many doctors will say you have an autoimmune condition. They might say you have an idiopathic disease, which means they don't know what the hell it is or where it's come from. Idiopathic means not known. Or they might not tell you anything at all and you just feel terrible for a long time and you wonder why is this happening? It's because your immune system is reacting. Now your immune system can actually react not just to pathogens but to thoughts. Yep, you heard me right, thoughts. Your own thoughts can be pathogens or toxins and we've spoken to many a guest on this podcast about how our internal talk, our internal identification affects the way we live, the way our health displays what's going on in our lives. 
it can really affect you. So your thoughts can be toxic. Your thoughts can be building and empowering and nurturing, but they can be toxic. And in times of stress, they usually are. Now, what happens when we have toxic thoughts or our emotions are stuck or something's just not quite right with our psychology? Our nervous system comes into play. The nervous system is the way that all the messages are sent through your body. So pain is a nervous system response. Shallow breathing is a nervous system response. Lots of things happen with the nervous system. We've all heard the fight, flight, fade, freeze scenario. That is your nervous system pulling the strings. Now, your nervous system will respond to how you are feeling, so your emotions, and it will respond to your thoughts. When the nervous system sends these messages, it may send them to try and protect you, and it may very well communicate directly with your endocrine system. Now, your endocrine system is your hormonal system. You've probably heard of someone in times of high stress or high anxiety that can't get pregnant or can't have a baby, or if they're a guy, they have just chronic headaches all the time or they get a beer belly. You know, there's a lot of symptoms that pop up when our endocrine system isn't happy or when the hormonal balance is out of balance. So we've got our psyche talking to our nerves, talking to our endocrine or hormonal system, and guess what happens after that? Our immune system jumps in to react to whatever is going on. So whether you have high testosterone, low testosterone, high estrogen, low estrogen, whether you have high cortisol, any of these hormones, your immune system will react. So what we're seeing today with people worried about their immune systems, worried about herd immunity, look, there's a lot of things going on, but what you need to focus on is your own immune system and your own immune response to things. And for every person, that's going to be different. So a pathogen, like a virus, like a bacteria, like a fungus, like a toxin, is not going to affect every single person the same way. Because as it reaches the host or as it activates within the host, the host being you, it is different to how it's going to activate within your child, your husband, your neighbour, your parent. It is going to be a different response because your immune system is unique. So what can you do to boost your immune system? Well, the first thing you can do is know which acquired immune pattern you are using. And there are many practitioners that can do that for you, including the people that I work with at Holistic Natural Health Australia. But if you look up innateimmunity.com, send them a message, there will be many practitioners there close to wherever you are, that can help you. Now, the second thing that you need to do is look at how your thoughts are affecting you each day. Are they setting off this cascade of hormones and of nerve impulses and immune reactions? Look at what you are thinking, what you are feeling, and work on that. And we've really brought you so many great experts at this podcast that can help you do that. So go back and listen to many of our experts and change the way you are thinking because that really will have an effect on your immune system. So back to what is innate immunity. Innate is known. Innate is a sense of knowing. Innate is what you are born with. It's not something that needs to be adapted. It's not something that needs to be changed, but it is something that needs to be nurtured, cared for and respected. So for now, listeners, go and check out innateimmunity.com 
or holisticnaturalhealthaustralia.com.au, that's holistic with a W, and go forth and create your magical life. Thanks for listening today. Please subscribe to hear future episodes, leave a review, and share this podcast. You can follow us on Facebook at A Magical Life Podcast or at Holistic Natural Health Australia. That's holistic with a W. You can find us on Instagram at Holistic Natural Health or at www.holisticnaturalhealth.com.au. That's where you'll access all sorts of articles, freebies and more.